we must sign in to use the app. If you already have any Microsoft apps installed, you'll see your email here. If not, sign in with a Microsoft account. OneNote has two tabs on the home screen. Home is where you will find your recently edited notes. However, you can change that to newly created or the alphabetical order from this sort and filter menu. Notebooks is where you will find all your content. OneNote has three level structure. On the top are notebooks. Under notebooks are sections and under sections we have pages also called notes. Let's open a random note. Under each of those screens you'll find a button to add new. Inside a section we have the add a new page option. Let's create one and add some content. The home tab also has a row to add a new page. This page is saved to your default notebook and section. The icons next are drawing, camera and recording to create a specific type of note. To add a sticky note, click here and then choose the option. Sticky notes are saved like normal notes. Also you can change the sticky notes color from here. Now we'll talk about its rich text editing features. OneNote supports check marks, lists and indents. We can add media by tapping this plus icon. I'll add a photo. We can add more photos by clicking here. I'll crop this photo before adding it. We have some more options to explore, but let's move on. Here we go. This is the text style menu. OneNote makes it easier to add headings and change the font, font size and text style. Let's add heading 2. You can see the color is different from the normal text. There are plenty of other tools that we can explore here, but uh, you should try these in your own time to see the power of OneNote. Now is the time to draw. I have a Samsung Ultra phone, so whenever I touch with stylus, the drawing mode activates automatically. To activate the drawing mode, click the plus icon and then tap the ink mode. When the drawing mode is active, a row appears with pens, a highlighter, an eraser and a shape tool. Let's play with this page. When a tool is selected, tapping it again will open its options. We can change the color and thickness of this pen tool. This is the highlighter to highlight text and stuff. OneNote has extensive drawing tools that allow us to draw over text, images and anything else that is visible in the node. The shape tool has issues as it doesn't change the size. And it sometimes has other weird problems. Another issue I find with OneNote is that we can't share a specific node. You can send the node as a PDF and plain text, but that's pretty much it. But we can invite someone to a whole notebook. To do that, hold on to a notebook and then click the share icon. Then insert their email address. They'll receive an invite to join and once they join, they can access this notebook. The main search function is here. The app can search for titles and text within notes and images. This find option is specific to the note and can search for text. When you do, all the results are highlighted. Before we end this video, I like to talk about some of its additional features. OneNote supports adding tables. Just tap on it in the plus menu and start typing. We can add more rows and columns and delete the ones we don't need. Changing the color of each cell is also possible. Another option is syncing your Samsung notes with OneNote. If you have Samsung Notes, you can enable the option to sync notes with OneNote. This way you'll be able to access your Samsung Notes on your PC as there's no official desktop app. The next is the OneNote badge also called Floaty. You can have an icon floating on the screen all the time to add notes without opening the app. Just tap on it and add your note. It's that simple. The last one is the page style. We can change a note's background color and add lines to easily type and draw. With everything being covered, this is the end. If you like this guide, please follow my channel for more helpful videos. I'll see you next time. Take care.